you're looking for the best San Diego suburbs to raise your kids, and you've come to the right place, and we're gonna get to it starting right now. Great footage is awesome, but if you're like most parents, the first thing on your mind is schools. So let's talk about how to get your child into a great school like the one behind me. We're gonna look at the top eight suburbs based on schools. There's a lot to get through, so buckle up and follow me. So San Diego is huge with over three million people and yet the biggest concentration by far of the most sought after schools are in North San Diego. The Poway School District, is the anchor with 36,000 kids and five high schools and just west of it is the San Diego School District with 13,000 kids and three high schools. Both are big enough to have a solid track record but not so huge as to be unmanageable. So these are among the top schools in the state and you'll find that most of the best neighborhoods are in and around these areas. We'll spin a circle counterclockwise starting in Carmel Valley, moving through the most desirable suburbs then move east and north through more affordable areas and finish up back by the beach in Carlsbad. If one of these areas strikes your fancy, write it down. Links to the specific video can be found in the description below or by clicking on the cards, that little I button up in the corner. So let's start in Carmel Valley. I'm in one Paseo, which is in the heart of Carmel Valley, which itself is kind of in the heart of these North County suburbs that we're gonna be looking at. And this area is awesome. It's close to the beach. It's close to high-tech and bi-tech, uh, biotech jobs. It's also really expensive <laughs> for a good reason. It has stylish restaurants and cafes. It's got a big shopping center just across the street from where I'm at now. Um, there's a library and a community pool. It's huge. I'm in the north section, um, north of Highway 56, and there's actually an entire south section south of Highway 56. It's a little different down there. It has more views and more space, a little bit less hustle and bustle. Um, this area in general is the closest to most job centers, so less time spent in traffic. And Torrey Pines High School is at the top of the high school food chain for the San Diego School District, which is a local school district here. Um, and just to the east is the immaculate private campus of Cathedral Catholic High School. Head a few blocks east and you're in Little Pacific Highlands Ranch. It is an amazing area. It's new, it's meticulously maintained. It has beautiful pools and beautiful parks. It also has this lovely downtown center here. And just a walk away is Canyon Crest Academy, which is tops in the state for academics and arts. Tops, like number two in the state. Um, also right next door is Pacific Trails Middle School, which is an amazing middle school as well. Okay, we're gonna go a few miles east and leave the San Diego School District and arrive in Torrey Highlands, which is in the Poway School District. And uh, Torrey Highlands is like a little island of post 2000 built homes clustered around Westview High School, that's its center, uh, which itself is a high achieving, highly rated, um, yet it has much more affordable homes than the first two places that we've looked at, Carmel Valley and Pacific Highlands Ranch. Next up is Rancho Penasquitos, just to the east. Rancho Penasquitos is just a stone's throw away from the place that we just looked at. Um, it was developed back in the 1980s, so it definitely has an older feel to it. Um, it has some of the homes going to the same high school, Westview High School, others going to Mount Carmel High School. And one of the things about this is you get a lot more house for your buck here. Um, it's also a reasonable drive when it comes to commuting down to high-tech and biotech centers. We're gonna move off Highway 56 now and head north past Black Mountain to Forest Ranch in Del Sur. We have arrived in Del Sur and Forest Ranch. Now this area, 7,500 homes, all of them were built after the year 2000. So it's fresh and it's clean and it's well thought out. There are amazing parks as you go through it. There's places to walk your dog. And then behind me is this giant sports park, um, which has got basketball courts. It's got, um, it's got a pool, it's got, you have to see a whole video on it. Um, and then next to that are hiking trails. And those hiking trails go along a little creek all the way up to Black Mountain, which is off in the distance out here. Now, one of the focal points of Forest Ranch in Del Sur is Del Norte High School. It is the cream of the crop of the Poway School District. I say that because both of my kids go there, but other people say that also. Um, and because my kids go here, I've got those amazing videos that focus just on 
the schools here. So we've got one on um, Del Norte High School as well as Design 39 and also Oak Valley Middle School and then another set of videos on the three grammar schools, Monterey Ridge and Stone Ranch and Del Sur. Um, now we're going to move from here all the way east of Highway 15 to Saber Springs in Carmel Valley. It's an area that is right next to Highway 15 so it's super convenient. However, it lacks the sense of community because it is right next to a freeway, but it is easy to get freeway access. It's also in the Poway School District, so you get great schools, and it's right next to a major shopping center, which is another bonus. Next up, from Carmel Mountain Ranch in Sabre Springs, we're going to drive up north to Rancho Bernardo. If you listen carefully, you'll hear the sound of golf balls being smacked because I'm right across from the full fairway at the Rancho Bernardo Inn. Rancho Bernardo was really developed in the 1960s and 1980s. It has a different feel to it. And right here at the RV Inn, these trees were planted way back when. And when you walk through, you feel like you're walking through a forest, which you really can't say that about lots of parts of San, of San Diego. They're just much drier and much newer. Um, likewise, there is great hiking around here. Lake Hodges is just to the west. You can hike there, you can bike there, you can fish there. I think you can even ride horses there. Um, and actually just straight across from where I'm looking right now is Rancho Bernardo High School, which is famous for its football team. And since this area's been here for a long time, right? People went to that high school back in the 60s, back in the 70s, and now they have their own kids going there. So they have a really great tra tradition that you don't find at a lot of other high schools that opened up in 2005 or 2014. Um, so that's something special about the Rancho Bernardo area. From here, it's a big drive west to San Aleo Hills. You'll go up Highway 15 and then west on Highway 78 and exit on Cal State San Marcos. It's, um, it's a growing post-2000 master planned community with new housing still available just to the north near the uh, college. It's quaint and private, but the school situation is a little bit tough, sort of. Um, new local and middle schools are a walk from the housing, but the high school is still pretty far away and not as highly ranked. Lastly, the Carlsbad area to the southwest is much closer to the beach and the pulse of action. There are a whole bunch of beautiful post-2000 neighborhoods to choose from, and the Carlsbad School District has some good schools as well as some average schools. Now, the drive up and down Highway 5 has long been a downside, but the proximity to the beach is awesome. Those are the hottest areas in the suburbs for schools. Carmel Valley, Pacific Highlands Ranch, Torrey Highlands, Rancho Penasquitos, Forest Ranch in Del Sur, and then Saber Springs and Carmel Mountain Ranch, Rancho Bernardo, San Leo Hills, and then Carlsbad. It's a lot to try to take in. My recommendation, watch some of these videos in detail. I have a video in the playlist called Neighborhood Tours for each of these, so you can really dig into them and see what each neighborhood really feels like. And then when the time comes and you're ready, I can get you some great neighborhood maps. You can really dial into house size and price point. By the way, my name is Bradley Heinz, realtor in North San Diego County. Um, until then, enjoy the videos.